you know, they re referred to me as being very fortunate and won all that money, and, and I, I have been very fortunate. But, you know, I started somewhere. I came up uh, in the early 80s uh, in California, and I started in 5,000 on pro in the youth. If I had a video here to show you, you wouldn't believe it was me when I was 13 years old. Those horses were running off and they were leaking and doing all that sort of stuff. So I understand what, what beginners go through. You know, I, I, uh, I started out and I had to learn how to get, uh, to get better and I, I understand the problems that, that people go through with their horses and, and uh, you know, cutting and, and the horses uh, doing right and doing wrong and all that. So what I'm gonna try to do is, like I said, I'm gonna give you a little bit of uh, pointers today. Okay, now slow down here a little bit. You're out there. Just slow down just a little bit. Okay, ease forward a little bit more. You're not tied to anything yet. Patience. All right, that's your count. Now move up into her neck and shoulder. Neck and shoulder. Excellent. Move up a little bit more. Good job. Now you got her. Tip his nose there to the cow just a little bit. All the way across. Good good catch right there all the way across good job good job all the way good all the way across there okay get a good stop very good come on through get a good stop over here keep working your cow now you got it all the way there you go. Good job. Okay, let's look. Be looking for a, a legal quit now. Legal quit. There you go. Good, right there. Good job, Brian. There's one thing when when you're when you're going to your right, you're you're stopping and putting your hand down. At some point, maybe not on these fast to cattle, but but at some point when you have the opportunity, if you can stop that horse and then make that horse stay there, because you're stopping and turn and you're stop you're actually. When that horse is turning, you're, you're actually pu pulling him quicker to the cow. If you could just stop that horse a little bit more like you're doing on this side, where you just kind of pull him and stop him and make him stay there just a little bit longer, that will help you over on this side. Because your, your, your tendency is you're, when you're going this way, you're, you're, you're pulling your horse and you're actually pulling him to a cow. So you're, you're actually t you're wanting him to stop, but you're actually telling him to, to turn quicker to the cow. So if you can use maybe both hands and get a good solid straight stop going this way, then and then he'll then he won't be maybe leaning into the cow quite so much. Does that make sense to you? Good job. Hey, I, good job cutting your cattle though. You went right up there and stayed in that neck and shoulder, and right at that time when you needed to stop that cow, you did. Uh, nicely done.